Hey my friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a reliable hosting provider for your WordPress blog or for your any type of website, whether it's e-commerce or anything else, uh, affiliate marketing related, or maybe you have an offline business and you just want something reliable, something that's gonna host your website. So welcome to my uh, web host comparison video of for 2019. My name is Alex Zubarev, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on web hosting providers such as Bluehost versus HostGator, and uh, also gonna review three other reviews by three different uh, users that were using the same type of uh, web hosting services and we're gonna pick the best one for you and your situation. So stay tuned. Uh, meanwhile, click the like button below, click subscribe below, so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I really appreciate you watching this video because I wanna give you the value so you can make the right decision. So welcome back. Uh, so let's take a look at the pricing. Let's take a look at the performance features. Uh, options that both companies provide to you. And then I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna tell you which one actually got hacked. I had one of my websites uh, gotten, you know, hacked basically, and uh, some of the data was compromised. So this is the most important aspect, I think, is the security of your data, because nobody wants to wake up one morning and, you know, get an email that your data has been stolen. So. Let's take a look at our uh, basic features, uh, pricing and so on and so forth. So Bluehost versus HostGator, uh, the pricing, depending on how many, how many months you get, uh, you can get the lowest pricing. I'm gonna place the uh, link below the video in the description where you can get the best possible price. Actually negotiate, negotiate it a better deal for you guys uh, because uh, some of the connections that I have. So um, let's take a look at this review uptime and speed, uh, Bluehost wins. You know, uptime 99.99%, which is basically means that the website is like down for like 35 minutes or 25 minutes in a year to do the maintenance, you know, updates, patches, you know, system updates and all that requires reboot of the server. That's when your server is gonna be down. So 99.99% 99 is as good as it gets. Um, performance again, Bluehost wins. Uh, they use, uh, you know, top of the line Intel Xeon processors um, and also they use AMD as well. Uh, and those are the fastest one that you can get. Uh, those are server grade level processors. So when it comes to speed, I'm actually gonna give you guys a link where you can test your website as well. So depending which hosting provider you're using right now, or you can compare competitors as well. It will give you a good idea how, you know, what type of experience your users gonna get when they're actually using your website. Very, very important, especially if you're doing e-commerce or affiliate marketing, because every millisecond counts when it, when it comes to loading, on a desktop and also on mobile platforms, whether your customers using, you know, iPhones or Android devices, it all makes a difference. Now, customer support, according to this person, is a draw. So they both have 24 seven support, 365 days out of the year, and you can always get your questions answered. And they have extensive, both of them have extensive FAQ pages where you can find your answers and literally minutes but you can also probably I, I always call or i do online chat if i have a question whether it's wordpress related or whatever it is you know plugins or a specific application uh install questions and so on and so forth control panel host gator wins according to this person c panel they both provide c panel which is the standard um interface where you navigate between files where you upload the files and install plugins, you know, remove users, add users, do user management, so on and so forth. Uh, now, 
as far as the money back guarantee, uh, HostGator wins according to this person. But again, look, 30 days versus 45 days. I'm pretty sure you're going to figure out if you like the service within a couple of days once you get it up and running. So it really doesn't make any difference. Hosting plans and pricing comparison. So pricing, um, you like depending how many months you prepay for, you can get as low as like $349, $295. They always change promotions. So for the current pricing, uh, I'll, I'll place the best link below in the description so you can check out the pricing for yourself. But they're very, very competitive and they have to be marketplace is very competitive, <laughs> you know, so they have to be in line with each other. Now, they have different types of hosting plans as well. Uh, they have a starter plan. They have, uh, depending how much bandwidth you requ require, most of us, most of you guys probably going to start at the basic plan. And you can always upgrade down the line as your business grows, as your needs grow. You can always add additional CPUs. You can add additional memory options. You can add additional bandwidth if you have a lot of, you know, graphics, a lot of uh, heavy pages. Obviously, you need faster CPU, more RAM and uh, more bandwidth. Now, as far as email accounts, Depend, depending what you're doing, it virtually doesn't matter. That doesn't make any difference between both platforms. They give you at least a hundred free accounts. And as far as I know, you're probably not going to use more than 10 of them. Okay. For most applications. Now let's take a look at um, VPS hosting plans. Those are for more heavy duty users, you know, people that require you know, the super fast response, the fastest possible loading time of the pages, you're going to go with VPS hosting plans, which means virtual private server, which basically it's not a shared plan where the shared plan is shared with, you know, hundreds and possibly thousands of users on the same server. Uh, you get dedicated server with VPS plan. So prices start at like 25 a month. And depending what you need, obviously your your wrap can walk you through what you need. But those are the prices. I mean, I, I had servers where I was paying, you know, five hundred dollars a month, depending how much you know how beefed up of the server that I needed, you know, for certain applications. So um, they also have um, completely dedicated hosting plans where it's even more money, obviously, but uh, you'll get there as you, your business grows, you know. Now, according to this article, Verdict is Bluehost wins overall. And they also give you free domain. They have a promotion where your domain, your website, you get to register for free. Like if you go to like GoDaddy or Namecheap, you have to pay anywhere from like $7.99 to like, depending what type of web, uh, domain is, up to like $20 a year. Here you get free domain, so that's a pretty cool deal. Also, when you sign up um, with Bluehost, you get um, advertising voucher to advertise on Bing or Google AdWords. Usually they give you a $100 uh, free advertising voucher that you can sign up with those advertising platform and use those money towards your advertising. So you get free traffic. Awesome, right? So. Let's take a look at another uh, review because I want to guys I want to give you guys multiple points of view and then I'll give you my personal recommendation. So let's take a look at this one: Bluehost versus Hostgator. And guess what? Bluehost is definitely winner here as well. And not only because the other person told you that, but this this. Uh, Fit small business, shout out to you guys. Uh, basically, it gives you breakdown as well. So, blue cost might be a little bit more per month. Well, 295 versus 275, not a huge difference, right? But they give you free email, free domain, which HostGator doesn't give you. And last but not least, guys, guess which hosting provider failed to secure my files? that one the hostgator or is it this one whatever you see the hostgator yeah that one 
One, one, one morning I woke up and basically all my uh, files were compromised. Luckily, that was an old server that I was not really using heavily in my business. But what if it was my primary business where I was hosting my files, customer data, so on and so forth? You know what I'm saying? You don't want that to happen. So security is very, very important when it comes to web, web hosting. It's very important to have the right set of plugins, which I will recommend to you. Uh, if you do decide to pick uh, Bluehost uh, through my link, I'll give you the recommended, top recommended security plugins, WordPress plugins that you absolutely need to have in order to have full security and to be able to protect yourself from hackers out there. There's tons and tons of people that are trying to hack WordPress sites on a daily basis. So just so you're aware, don't be scared, but that's the reality we live in, right? So you have to be protected. Uh, as far as storage, 50, gig, 50 gigs is plenty, right? It's more than enough for most applications. So adverti HostGate advertises unlimited storage, unlimited bandwidth, but you know what? They know for a fact average user will never use more than one gigabyte of data, okay? But last but not least, this is very important, guys, very crucial, as you can see here, SSL certificate, they actually include it for free. So Bluehost will give you a free SSL certificate <coughs> and that basically something that you would pay uh, as much as $100 sometimes for a year just to have an SSL certificate so that, you know, your website is secure if you're doing like uh, processing when customer buys something from your website uh, they need to see HTTPS, right? It's a secure plat secure um, website and it's encrypted. So if you don't have SSL certificate, it will say HTTP and most people will just turn away. Like like personally myself, if I go to a website if, and if I want to buy something, if I don't see HTTPS, I just don't, don't uh, do any business with that website. So it's very, very important to have SSL certificate and Bluehost throws it in for free guys. So that's a huge value right there. So overall Bluehost is the winner for 2019, 2020 and beyond. If you're looking for the best web hosting platform, you cannot go wrong. Bluehost will definitely serve your needs. And uh, hopefully that answers most of you guys questions. I welcome your feedback. If you have questions, use comments below and I'll be happy to reply to you guys. Uh, if you do decide to give it a shot, click that link in the description. You'll get the best possible pricing for the Bluehost uh, service for your websites. And if you have as unlimited websites, obviously. And uh, I'll give you uh, also as a bonus my top recommended WordPress plugins to make sure that your site is secure. So hopefully you got value from this video. Click the like, subscribe to my uh, channel right by clicking on the notification button below in the bottom right corner where you see the bell and you don't miss so you don't miss any of my future videos because on this uh, channel i share with you guys tons of affiliate marketing strategies how to have multiple passive income streams so on and so forth so you can work anywhere from the beach from commission kitchen like i do and uh with that hopefully you got value from this and uh, take massive action I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.